Hi friends, it's Shari. Today I'm introducing the new Year 13 mini stamp set. So let's take a look at this little stamp set. This is the newest mini birthday stamp set celebrating Lanfon's 13th year. In this stamp set we have the cute little steam bun and three smiley faces. There's the regular smiley face, the sourpuss face, and then the face with the little eyelashes on the eyes. There's also a stamp so that you can stamp little cheeks. You'd stamp that in a pink or a coordinating color right near the face. And then there's also these little steam lines and a big chopstick. The sentiment in this set says, Dim somebody, say it's your birthday. There's also coordinating dies for this set. One cuts out that steam bun, there's a die for the chopstick, and then there's also a die for the little steam lines. Now I'm going to create a card using this stamp set. I'm not doing any coloring on my steam buns today. I'm going to stamp them in dough ink on some speckled eggshell cardstock. So I'm just letting the speckled eggshell be the color of these little steam buns today. I'm going to be stamping out four or five of these. I end up using four in my final design. And then I'm stamping the little faces in that same dough ink. So I'm making sure that I have one of each of the different little faces. And then I'm using some peachy keen ink for my little cheeks. So I'm only stamping three here, but I end up using four. So I'll stamp a face on another one as I design my card. Now I wanted to make a bright and colorful birthday card, so I'm using some rainbow stripe paper from the Really Rainbow Collection. That's going to be the main background for my card. And then I'm recreating the little steam basket that Callie made on her card, and I'll show you that at the end of this video. She used the stitched oval. Now this is the smallest of the large stitched ovals. I've cut it from some craft card stock, and then I'm using my die cut and shifting it down right below that negative space. So I'm going to use the edge of the die cut to trace the bottom of the basket and then the edge of that negative space of the die cut, that's going to be the top edge of the outside of the basket. Then I can just connect them with some straight lines and I'm just using my ruler to draw some straight lines from the end of that oval cutout to the end of the pencil line that I created on the bottom. Then I can use my paper trimmer and my scissors to cut out the shape of the side of the basket. Now I didn't have to use my paper trimmer for these sides, but I just wanted to show you if you're a little nervous about cutting a straight line that you can easily use your paper trimmer for the sides. Now I felt like that little point there was a little too pointy, so I'm just gonna use my scissors and sort of trim it off a little bit. So it's a little much easier curve. And then for the bottom, if you're not comfortable with cutting along that pencil line, you can take your die cut and kind of line it up against that pencil line and use the edge of the paper as a guide. If you're afraid you're gonna cut your die cut, you could always use a scrap piece that's die cut for this as well. And then there we have the outside of that steam basket and I can just erase my pencil lines. Now I will be using another stitched oval to create this entire basket. I'm going in with some Distress Ink in tea dye to kind of darken up the edges and the bottom and give it some shape so it doesn't look quite so flat. Now for the inside of the basket, I want to create kind of the grid that the steam comes through. So I'm using my Skinny Stripes Diagonal Stencil to do this. I've just stuck that stitched oval down to my media mat. I'm using my magnets to hold my stencil in place. And then I have a little finger dauber brush that I have had for a while and I just keep forgetting to kind of pull it out and use it. And this works perfect for this little bitty die cut. I can kind of get in there because it's a small space and my brush doesn't hit my magnets and this worked out perfectly. And I'm just going back and forth following the diagonal lines and then there I have the inside of my basket. 
And then here is my second oval that I cut. That's going to be the back side of the basket. And I need to ink up the edge of that as well so that it matches the rest of my inked pieces. So you're just gonna stack the two ovals like this and then cover up the bottom with that outside piece that we cut. This oval that's on the inside goes almost to the bottom of that oval. You can see that on the back side. And then I'll layer the oval without the stenciling at the top. And then there is that cute little steam basket. It was super easy to make. And thank you to Callie for sharing with me how she created this. I am going to trim off a little bit on the edges where it goes past my oval a little bit. Better to have it too big and be able to trim it down than to have it too small and need to cut a new one. Now for the sentiment, I'm not using the sentiment in this stamp set. I am using one of the new offset sayings everyday sentiments that says it's your birthday and I'm stamping it in some river rock ink. So that is a gray Copic friendly ink. I'm just stamping it on a piece of white paper and then you can see my little cheat sheet card that I keep that has the Copics that I feel match the really rainbow papers. So I just pulled out a rainbow of colors that match my striped paper that's going to go in my background and I'm just coloring in my letters in those rainbow colors. Once I get it all colored in, I'm going to use one of the sentiment banner dies, line that up. I like that you can see that sentiment through there, and then I'll just die cut this. And then there is my sentiment that's going to go along the bottom. I have a piece of ballet slipper cardstock and a piece of guava cardstock cut with a stitch rectangle. And then for the guava cardstock, I'm going to cut the bottom with a simple stitch hillside. And you can see I'm just placing my sentiment and my basket on there to kind of get the placement of how high up I need to cut this little stitch hillside. This is going to be the tabletop where my basket is going to sit. So I'll just glue that right to the bottom of that ballet slipper cardstock rectangle. And this is going to be the panel where all my images go. So I have my two little steam buns that go into that basket. And I'll just go ahead and add those in there. You can see that I have the basket to the side, but I ended up putting it in the center, which you'll see in just a little bit. And then I also felt like it needed a little stitching detail on the outside. So I just have a brown writing pin on my desk. I have a whole bunch of these. They're nice and thin in lots of colors. And I just added a little stitching detail so that the outside of my basket matched the inside. I'm adding my sentiment banner with some thin foam squares. And then this is where I decided I wanted to shift my basket over and be centered and have four steam buns on my final design. So I'm just adding this with some liquid glue to the center and then I'll add my other little steam buns, one to each side, using a foam square so they are popped up. Now, of course, this is a birthday party, so I wanted to decorate the top with the fishtail banners. I cut the banners from some white cardstock, and I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on the back of each of these banners that's going to go across my card. And I'm going to drape one in each direction. So I'm just gonna tap that down and then trim off the excess pieces that are hanging over the side. I'm going to go ahead and put the banners on to this one before I layer the second one over. Because what I've found is if you do them both, it's really hard to get those ones that are underneath tucked in there. So it's better to go ahead and put the little flags on and then layer the second one over. I already had the little pennants cut out from other projects. I just keep these in a little bowl in my drawer and they're really easy to kind of grab and I don't have to cut those colors every time. Now I can figure out where I want the other one to fall and I'm gonna make it not quite centered, a few less banners on this one over to the side and I'll just add some glue to the back of those four banners that are going to touch the card and stick those down. Then I can cut off that extra piece that's overhanging 
and then I'll add more colored banners to this one. Now I did want to make sure that I didn't have two of the same color right in the same place. So I'm starting with my orange on the left side again and working my way across. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have two purples on top of each other or two pinks on top of each other. Now before I put this onto my card base, I am going to add my little steam lines using some manatee ink so that they're kind of subtle and fade into the background just like steam would. And then I can add my stripe paper to my card base. And then I'll put this whole panel that I created onto that stripe paper with some foam tape. Now for a little embellishment, I have these iridescent sequins and all I did was add some little dots of glue where I wanted them to go and then I'm just dropping them onto those dots of glue. That glue will dry clear and you won't see it behind that sequin, but you'll just get this little kind of shine of confetti in the air around these cute little steam buns. And then here is my finished card using that new year 13 stamp set. Now let's take a look at some cards from the design team. This card by Elise is so cute. I love the rainbow steam buns. I just think that is so clever. This card from Elena is super cute as well. She had a different take on that steam basket and these steam buns are having a pool party. I love Letitia's simple monochromatic take with this stamp set with those pink clouds in the background and white images. And then here is Kelly's card that inspired my little steam basket in my card today. This is just adorable. Next up, Grace's card is so clever using the soy sauce from Let's Roll, the Stitch Teacup die, as well as the Build-A-Barrel to make her little steam basket. I love Yainea's square card where she created the little squares for each of the steam buns and also added those cute little party hats. Kara used Henry's Junior's ABCs and Henry's ABCs to create a really fun, big, bold sentiment for her card. And then here is a card by Kelly, and I love how she used the steam bun to stamp a tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper for the background of her card. Audrey also paired these cute little steam buns with Let's Roll, and I just think that they look perfect with all that sushi. And then here is another look at the card I created in today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye!